It's me, Snick and Creep. Whoop, whoop. It's me, Snick and Creep. Whoop, whoop. It's me, Snick and Creep. Creek, give me my wig. It's my name is Chantel. This is my furry companion, Creek. I have alopecia. I work four days a week, and we live in a van. A Chevy van, that is. A badass Chevy van, that is. By the name of Snicker Doodle. Welcome to our channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. Let's get into it, y'all. Thank you. Good morning. Happy Saturday. So I'm trying to get a little bit of housework done. As usual, I did laundry. I have like four loads of clothing to put away and still I'm trying to combat this eczema I forgot I have my aloe vera leaf but I have been making some other changes I'm trying to eat a little better so that um, I can try to fight this eczema start off with some probiotic yogurt I'm gonna have to find some without all this sugar because I know that that's not good uh, I did go to Elliot's Natural Food Store and I purchased some clear skin. Can y'all see that? Clear skin peels. And I like to open the capsules instead of uh, swallowing them. Just because I was told that it's not that digestible in your system. So I open those up and I try to take it with yogurt. So you take like two, three times a day. I bought that yesterday. CoQ10. I'm taking this because I realized uh, that this doesn't need to be refrigerated. And since I don't have a refrigerator, I'm like, cool. Because I was taking this when I was living in an apartment. I had this and I was taking some liquid turmeric. I got my women's gummies, my multivitamin. I got some probiotic gummies because I feel like probiotics and yogurt has helped me with my eczema. Omega-3. I found some omega-3 gummies. And I, shit, gummies just taste better. Than but I forgot I got this leaf off of a plant. And I need to rub some on my skin. I also got some shea butter. So I'm trying to make some efforts to get this skin under control it's really just really don't even feel the same yep this is an aloe vera leaf it's supposed to be good for your skin good for burns all of that stuff my eczema be out of control I had to get a van that I could stand up in I had to Me and my hands, probably can't see that, but. And y'all know with this aloe vera, you can puncture it and get all that gooey stuff out. Getting some of this aloe vera on. Just things that I'm taking and steps I'm taking to try and take care of my skin, this eczema or this burn, whatever the hell's going on. Just trying to fight it, that's all. That's all. What's today's date? Is today on uh, March, is it March 8th? See, I'm itching right there, so this shit up on there. Because March 9th, Monday, March 9th will be two months that I've been doing van life, baby. Van life, baby. Van life, baby. I wonder, should I put some of this in my hair and stuff? Oh, I got that. Got that aloe vera going on. Natural. 
It's a little chunk. Sometimes it's chunky. All right. Got that on my skin. What should I do next? Put some shea butter on it. I'll wrap this up. I have to use this leaf up really fast because I don't have a refrigerator to keep it like fresh. But the cool thing is there's a plant that's by my job so I can get a leaf, you know, whenever I need it really. And I don't have to pay $2 or anything at the natural food store because I know someone who has a plant that can hook me up with a leaf every now and then, you know? Shea butter, baby. Yes, shea butter. I'm going to get that a try because some of the lotions that I've used, they just don't do enough moisturizing. Shea butter, baby. Shea butter, baby. Bucking up your pillows. <laughs> Fucking up your sheets. Just trying to take care of this skin, this eczema. This feels good. The aloe vera, the aloe vera is nice and jelly like and wet. The shea butter is is cool and it does feel moisturizing. Uh, my skin needs that. Some of these other lotions that I've used, they just don't don't do it for me. I'm gonna show you. I use this lotion because I hear about emollients are really good and that our skin needs that. But I use this and I feel like I still need to add some oil to it. So it's not enough. When I put it on, I don't have no shine. It looks like I don't even have lotion on. I'm I'm. And then this one, I've used this one. I've used a lot of them. Eucerin. I've added oil to this. I use this on my face and everything, and I, I still feel like I need to add oil to it. So, shea butter, I don't feel like I need to add oil to it. And I, the skin even has, has a shine to it. It feels good. I think I'm going to stick with it. Hopefully this eczema clears that. Hopefully. It's getting ready to be summer, you know? Springtime. Nobody got time for eczema. And I'm going to try to make some diet changes. So I have my yogurt. I had that for breakfast. I'll eat a banana later. I got the shea butter from the beauty supply. Any, any beauty supply. Shit, nowadays... I want to say you could probably get it at Walmart, but yeah, I got it at the Beauty Supply. Raw shea butter. I'll show you the lid. I didn't too much care for it was because I always had to melt it. I always had to do this. But in the summer... This will, it'll melt, so it'll be like an oil. So just be careful with it. Easier to apply, but yeah, I got the smooth kind. They have some that is more chunkier, and you really have to work that, but this one is smooth. So it feels good. feels like butter. I wish it smelled better. It probably won't hurt to put, put some kind of, essential oil in it because I love peppermint peppermint in there getting all moisturized for the day scented body butters and all the bed bath and beyond and all that other stuff I can't I can't mess with fragrances like that but this natural rose water and natural stuff I can do so 
So I'm rarely the chick smelling like Victoria's Secret because my skin just, just can't do it. But yeah, working on some eating habits. Probably have a have a salad for for lunch. It's hard at work though because work they have so many sweets out. They got muffins, brownies, all that stuff that's hard to pass up. So work is hard for me. But when I'm not at work, I'm gonna try to do good. So yeah, I'm gonna get back to my housework. What I was doing was just folding up, folding my clothes and, and sorting them and putting them away. So I have my bed raised up because I have these cubbies that I can access. My underwear goes over there. Some shirts go over here. Some more shirts go in the back. Uh, like some pajama pants go here. <sighs> some stuff that I have on top of my bed I'm going to hang up back there. That's all right. So that's all that's going on with me. My pants, some work pants and stuff. I'm going to try to hang my pants up. Little light t-shirts. And y'all see what I do. If you're lonely, you need somebody to talk to, I can call some someone. I just talked to my dad. We talked for a little bit. And we actually do the video chat so he can see me and everything. See I'm good. See my home. See my handmade work. I got a clean fanny pack. Got a clean fanny pack. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know where I'm going to put that yet. Shirts. Some work shirts. Put these clothes away because I like to always be ready for for a van tour and so I'm not always ready well most of the time I'm ready but I just did laundry four loads so I gotta put the clothes away so that every time we do a van tour it's ready sweater do I want this hung up Want my sweater hung up? Maybe. Stuff is e easier to get to when when I hang it up out there, rather than always lifting my bed up and going underneath. <sighs> my skin feels good. Feels good. Can you believe it? This is my van home believe it my little home and this is a technique that I use just to maximize my living space my auntie showed me this method it's like when you're loading up a suitcase when you're packing your suitcase up she showed me how to roll up my clothes and I can fit more more in there so, this is what I do differently since living in the van. Yay, these are some warm pants right here. Need these for uh, for the winter. Shea butter, baby. Can I be a pillow? Work shirt. Cool little work shirt. 
I'm taking out some of this stuff because I'm realizing I don't need it like these sheets. When I moved in here, I thought I was going to be needing these sheets, but I really don't. The way my, my bed is set up, I don't need them. So they'll go back into storage, taking up space. So, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Looking at your pillow. This one of my favorite little shirts right here. And I got this for free. I got this at a clothing swap. So I don't know if you guys have ever participated in clothing swaps. Where you bring all your clothing that should be in good condition. That you just don't want no more. You probably don't want it. Can't fit it. And everyone gathers, brings their clothes, and, and and you guys do an exchange. Secondhand shopping. I don't mind. This shirt that I got on, got this for free. Out of clothing swap. You know, some people's clothing be in perfectly good condition. For some reason, they just don't want it. So I love clothing swaps. I love, um, what else is it? Consignment shops. I'm gonna hang these, these are work pants. Iron them up and hang them. My little shirt, I like this. putting away my clothes because I want to be ready to do a van tour whenever whenever people pull up, you know? That's all. Oven mittens. Whenever I get ready to use my stove and do some cooking, this will come in handy. These will come in handy. That's my song, y'all. That song is stuck in my head. Shea butter. That's what I didn't do. I didn't put any shea butter in my hair this morning. But it's okay. I put some in there yesterday. Y'all see this? Like it's sunlight. It's sunlight. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful morning. Yeah. What is going on? March 9th will be two months for me doing the van life. Can you believe it? Two months. I can't wait till I get to a year. I can't wait. I'm just doing housework. Like I would do in an apartment. You do your laundry and then you do what? You fold your clothes and you put them away. That's all I'm doing. socks I'm gonna have to match those up because it's just easier to get ready for work in the morning when you can pick up your socks and you have matches to them
face towel. I rarely use face towels. I really, I really don't even use face towels anymore. I use wet wipes. And when I take my shower, my face gets wet. So I don't really have a need for these. But I'll keep it anyway. Also, I just bought this to scrub my body with. It's um, a body scrubber and it's infused with charcoal. So, just bought that. Haven't used it long enough to notice anything, but I do like the cloths, the bath cloths. Um, just because I feel like it, it's doing some kind of exfoliation. That's all. <sighs> Let me run in my mouth this morning. I don't even remember wearing that sports bra. I don't know if you're learning anything, but um, with me doing van life, I have money in my bank account, money in my savings, money in my check-ins. If I were to continue doing apartment life, oh no. That was just eating all my money. All my money. Wouldn't have been in, able to enjoy life. It's one of my bath towels. One of my favorite bath towels. I've been having this towel, this Hawaii towel for a long time. My sister's best friend bought it for me, who lives in Hawaii. I think how I'm gonna fold this. Roll it up, roll it up, roll it up. So I'm not doing nothing. Well, actually I am. I'm doing housework. That's all. So y'all take care. Thanks for watching. Mm, mm, mm.